been joining us here in the hospital this evening. It was an absolutely fantastic talk. It was really very interesting. Thank you. I just wondered about that. was a couple of very short questions. Sure. That you wouldn't mind. And um, what's your what do you think has been your proudest moment during your career? Do you think? Um. I think, oddly enough, when I finished playing and saw it about a year later, so I was no longer close to it, <clears throat> when I'd finished playing uh, Prince Consort, Prince Albert, okay. in a series on television called Edward the Seventh. As far as I was concerned, it should have been called Prince Albert. But there we go. Um, uh, uh, the reason I was proud and happy because uh, actors are, well I'm not usually happy with what I've done but ha seeing it at a distance I was able to say well whether people liked it or not that was what I aimed at and I got what I aimed at okay yeah sounds brilliant <laughs> And I was also just wondering if you find the transition from stage to television and film, did you find that difficult or problematic? When I first started doing it, I found it almost impossibly difficult. Mm. Although I was uh, so much in love with film, you know, and as I say, that's why I became an actor. Um, yes, I mean, if you've been acting at that big old theatre at Stratford, <laughs> and at the Old Vic and so on, and big theatres in the West End, you, your main object is to make people understand you and what you're about in the very back of the theatre, the very top and back. And of course, if you do that on, on the screen, I don't know how long it took me, but I used to see Russia. I used to go to Russians, you know, the things that come in the next day, uh, which I no longer do, but... Um, I used to go absolutely regularly because I regarded that as essential benchwork to the game, to the craft. And uh, pretty depressing it was to begin with. <laughs> I was being a stage actor in front of the camera, you know. It was a thing that Elizabeth Taylor said to uh, Richard Burton once, which is so true, because Rich was uh, a big actor, you know. And they were acting together, I forget what it was in. Well, it must have been Auntie and Cleopatra, because they'd never met before that, I don't think. Um, and anyway, she said to him one day, just don't forget, Rich, that when you're in big close-up, when we're in big close-up, in a big cinema, you're over 40 foot high, your face is over 40 foot high. Don't do things, just think it. And if you really are an actor, thought will come through. The windows of the soul, the eyes. Don't grimace, don't do things all the time. No. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Just one final question. Um, what do you think of the Oxford Union? I know you've been to the Cambridge Union before. <laughs> well, I've been to the Cambridge Union, not because I was Cambridge, but because I, I did speak there <coughs> once, I can't remember what about. But uh, it so happened that, I, yes, I did speak at the Cambridge Union. I sort of regret that I never spoke here. I was never a member. But uh, you see, actors are far, far better with scripts mm -hmm. than they are at arguing a point. I think I've learned at last, roughly speaking, to think on my feet, you know, if I have to address a subject, because it's so much better to speak without a script, but uh, certainly in my time at Oxford I would have made an absolute bomb. Of... In the same way that being asked to be on question time, they asked me time and time again, and I absolutely refused every time, because I knew that I wouldn't be quick enough to answer sensibly. And the actors that I've seen on Question Time have nearly always muffed it, I think. Well, thank you very much. It really but it's a joy to be here. It's a great building yeah. and a great tradition. Yeah. It's great to have you part of that tradition. So well, thank you. Thank you very, very much.